G'day. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show people how to build a hydrogen cell. Uh, basically there are many different types of designs. Um, I've been playing with this stuff for a few years now and um, uh, this unit here was loaned to me by somebody and observing this unit compared to the stuff I've seen and played with um, at this time I would say that this design would be probably one of the most far superior designs and easiest designs for people to build. Now there are many different designs and there are many different concepts but for what this is and how easy it is and the cost effective of it um, for me if I was to recommend anybody to build any um, hydrogen cells I would tell them to build this one. As you can see this is a um, container you just buy from the supermarket put your wheat bits in or drink or whatever you want to put in I suppose. Um, these are a bunch of tubes in here okay um, and he's using chopping board that you chop your vegetables on to hold those tubes in and basically all those tubes are 316 stainless steel okay just kind of run through really quickly on how this was built so you yourself can go out and build one of these yourself and we'll show you the production of this thing. Uh, the thing I like about this cell is that I think it's got a quite good production for a cell that doesn't use any electrolyte it uh, just uses tap water only and if you look at the design of the tubes uh, it's sort of half based on what Stanley Meyer did with his demonstration cell okay so okay we've actually pulled the cell out of the container here just for you to show you how to look at it um, as you can see this is just um, normal chopping board um, if it was me, I'd go and buy a thick piece of polycarbonate and use that. I actually find that polycarbonate is a pretty good insulator for all this stuff. Um, these are just basically two tubes. Um, Size-wise, it doesn't matter what size you use, as, as long as you get the two tubes and they're within, say, three mil of each other. Um, I'd say these tubes are around about um, uh, eight, eight inches long each. And all of these outer tubes here, all of them here, if you if you look here, they're all positive. So that's positive, 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 positive in there, and positive on the outside. So basically every tube is positive on the outside. And each tube on the inner, on the inside, it's all negative. Negative, 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 and so on. Okay. So very simple as far as um, setting up the tubes. Uh, this setup here is just how he set it up to, to do all the negative and positive terminals. Uh, you can make up your mind on what you want to do for that. There's many different ways of doing that. Uh, this wire here looks like a stainless steel wire that he's pulled off a fence as such, or a railing. Um, if you've seen the fancy stainless steel um, railing wire that I use on some of these fancy um, projects I do. So that's about all I've got to explain on this cell. It's pretty basic and most of you out there that have built these cells, you can see how this works. Um, basically this cell we're going to uh, try a few experiments on behalf of Panacea. Uh, we want to base it on a Dave Lawton cell. Um, if this was my uh, water cell, um, basically if I was to build this, I'd probably build these tubes around about um, uh, 600 millimeters to a meter tall. If you really want to be serious and separate the men from the boys. Um, I'd be making meter tubes basically. Um, okay, it's a big cell, I know, but you're going to see in the minute how much hydrogen production that this thing makes. And if you see what a meter cell would do, um, you'd never need to put electrolyte in, you'd create the gas that you want. And I believe you'd also um, have a diff different frequency in the water by not using electrolyte. Anyway, we'll go and set this up and give you a demonstration. Okay, basically um, we've put the water in it. There is no electrolyte in this, this is straight tap water. And I'm just using a 12 volt car battery. And we're just going to hook this up. Now I haven't got a multimeter to measure the amps at this time. But I suspect between 1 to 3 amps this thing would chew. And if you watch the gas production, uh, for what it is, I think it's quite rapid. For the actual setup itself. See if I can get a side shot. Oh. I 
I don't know how well you can see that. I'll disconnect the power terminal. Okay, if I connect the power terminal up, just watch how instantly it um, turns on again. Now, with um, Dave Lawton's um, circuit, or Stanley Myers circuit, I believe this um, gas production will be uh, quite more um, productive again, um, if it was all set up right based on what Rafi's done in India. Beautiful milky um, um, top, which I don't see this with the electrolyte. Um, the water sort of stays clean for a lot longer. And you probably won't see this, but there's um, a lot of fog coming off the top. which that's a um, subject in itself as far as I'm concerned. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope some of you guys build something like this.